God bless you guys. This is Sean here. I'm just going to show you a little quick, it's a little quick riff. I worked on it a while back. I was trying to get the right note for it a long time ago because it's kind of weird when I was doing my voice. I couldn't quite get the note, but I kind of find it in a way. I, I hope I don't mess up the words because I still have a hard time playing it with the chorus. I can't get it just right, but it's a uh, biblical uh, kind of uh, the, the meaning. I'll try to do it. Wander you go into pure inquiry now. Let me try it again. Wander you go into pure inquiry now. Absent from the spirit, dead in curiosity, killed cat in the canary and whatever else it breeds. Cause the error of Balaam's reward is his own disease. Kill the cat, the canary, and whatever else it breeds. Cause the error of Balaam's reward is his own disease. Wander you go into pure inquiry now. Absent from the spirit, dead in curiosity. Kill the cat, the canary, and whatever else it breeds. Cause the error of Balaam's reward is his own disease. See, you kind of get the idea. It's like, uh, it's kind of like, I wrote it a while back and it was like the error of Balaam's reward is his disease. Remember, he was hired to curse Israel. He took a sum of money, a reward, almost for the reward of sin, to curse Israel. But he found out he couldn't curse Israel. And God broke his foot in the mountain, which is for the spirit he was walking in. Broke him of his works, and it ultimately saved the prophet's life, but he said, how can I curse Israel, you know? But the heir of Balaam's reward is his own disease, basically, that God gives people over to what they want. You know, like the cat that swallowed the canary, he, she gets what she wants, but the curiosity basically kills the cat, you know? And that's kind of the concept for it. And, um, you know, that's, that's kind of a song, just an idea God gave me, and just for the wanderer, you know? And... People are found wanting and then, you know, like, like Balaam and they get an offer basically, you know, if, if you curse Israel, whatever, I'll give you the sum of money or you get this. A lot of people are going to rat out the two witnesses and, 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 and the people of God to save their lives, you know, and some of the people that are not right with the Lord at that time, God said some of the vessels will be given over to King Nebuchadnezzar, the Antichrist in the Old Testament. Those golden vessels that were confiscated, they represented the uh, people of God going in. Some The gold and the silver. The silver for the redemption of his people and the gold for the, uh, for the anointing of them in the spirit. And the silver was to save their souls for the silver of the body. And the uh, gold was for the anointing. And... The King Nebuchadnezzar took them and his father drank out of them, uh, drinking wine, like pouring in their own spirits, you know. And that's what incurred the wrath and the judgment of God, you know. People were going to give up their brothers like Judas did for 33 pieces of silver. But the only people that will be betrayed as Christ was, he showed me, were the people that were walking in the manner of Samson. Because see, Christ died as a person caught in their sin, you know. He had to die in our place so we can be saved so now because he died we can live we don't have to die if we die to our sin now or die to ourselves now we pick up our cross we're not like balaam we don't take that reward you know then we won't get that disease you know of balaam that he had you know that that is the error of his uh, talks about the error of balaam you know the error of his reward was his own disease that he gets He's given over to what he wants. You know, he goes after that, but, you know, and he got mad because God stopped him on that path. God broke his foot on the edge of a mountain, you know, like uh, on the body of Christ, you could say. But he broke his foot when he was trying to go to that path to curse Israel, you know. And from that, he came to a point where he said, how can I curse Israel, you know. So God stopped him to save him. And that's sort of what he's going to do with these three days of darkness. He, for the sake of the remnant, he says, if he doesn't send Elijah first, will he have anybody, you know, to save? That's what he testified to through other people. I heard them saying the coming of Elijah. 
If I don't send my prophets first, why have anybody? And it talks about in the book of Malachi to clean the servants of God as uh, silver and gold and silver is refined. And first, you know, you know, I have this mission to get perfect before the Lord and make myself perfect and then to help my brethren also in that way. And so uh, that's sort of the whole Elijah mission. But God bless you. I wanted to bless you with that song. I, I thought it was kind of cool. You know, I kind of I came from a rock background, so that's kind of how I kind of like writing upbeat stuff. I probably need to tune my guitar later better. Um, I might make songs later, you know, like record them professionally and, and put them out there for you guys. But I love you. I'm praying for you. Just thought I'd show you that, guys. Until next time, shalom.